Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is BB Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to live stream to twitch.tv. Now, for the people out there who don't know, I have started to stream on Twitch recently, and you can find the links down in the description in all of my videos. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do it with OBS because OBS is free. So, what you want to do, you want to go and download OBS. Now, if you are using Windows 10 like me, I would recommend downloading the multi-platform one because that's the only one that seems to work. Also, you want to go to your Twitch page. Mine is BB Hacks, and you see I've got one stream and still. And what you want to do, you want to go into dashboard. Now, there is something that you shouldn't. One thing you need to know about live streaming is that, and that is that you should never show anybody your stream key. When you want, when you first go into your dashboard, you want to go to stream key. I have to press show key, and then wait for it. I understand that it says you shouldn't talk to anybody. So what I have to do, I have to copy that in. Like I say, I will censor it out. Copy and X out over that and then go into OBS settings stream change it to twitch and paste in your stream key if you've not got a very good um, what's it called? internet connection I'd recommend doing it in 720p like I do so I'm gonna hit apply and OK so now we've got the braces basic premises done. First you want audio, so if you want to go in and choose, you, if you want if you want to have music playing you need to do your desktop speakers, so it'll just be speakers and then your audio drivers mine's is just that, and a mic and I'm guessing my microphone is set to my mic I could stream with this one which is the microphone I'm using so I don't want to mess with that really because it'll annoy me, it'll balls itself up what you want to do, you want to add scenes and I'm just going to leave it at scene 1 on scene one, what I do, I have an image that says we will be starting soon. So we're going to browse. I have the folder already made up in desktop, YouTube, graphics, and elements. So first I have this one. I hit OK. And that's all I have on that one. So first if you were doing a game live stream, you'd go to game, and that'd have your Elgato or I, could, I don't know, video capture device. That I think that's also what you'd do for an Elgato. And there you can see my sexy face. Hello. It's a sexy face. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then position it wherever you want. Oh, that's scary. Uh, so then we just drag. That above. And there you go, it's nice. Now got a nice frame on it. And then you hit display capture or window capture. Like I did a live stream yesterday of making my new graphics, which you can kind of see behind OBS. I had it set to Photoshop so you couldn't see all the other things. So actually, I would recommend doing that. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, okay, and if you have two screens like me, you can choose one or the other. Now I'm not going to choose that screen because that's just so good. it doesn't work. Also if you want them to be able to see your cursor, make sure show cursor is checked. Yeah, okay. Now my screen is bigger than my base thing, it's on you know, stupid resolution. If it just transform and stretch to screen. Now like we've got that image, we have to do the same. Premises is what we did with the webcam, but for this, ooh, now you just position that underneath there, and again you've got a nice frame. Now the next one I'd recommend having would be a technical difficulties, so if you have any technical difficulties you can just change it. I again have an image already made for this in my folder, which is this one, because if you're old enough to remember, um, CD programs used to have like a picture of a clown and a little girl, and it was that thing. So I've just 
got it and it's now me in the bubble thing and yeah okay also uh, if i were you i'd uncheck tech un tick that box because whenever you change over the scenes it'll be like you saw there when i went to that one it it was black for a second because it unloads the image which was a stupid idea but oh well and then all you need to do now is press start stream and a good idea would be to go into Twitch and live. Scroll down. You see how many people are watching, how many people are favorited, how many views you've had in your entire thing, is it? And then when people start chatting, you can see the chat there. And if you want to start seeing streams, be sure to go follow me on what's it called? Twitch. And BB Hacks on there, as you saw before. And yeah, I am BB Hacks. Let me know down in the comments if you like my new graphics. I am BB Hacks, and I am signing off.